All right. Hi, everyone. I'm Laura, and I'm the marketing communications intern for Go Eat Give. Um, we strive to raise cultural awareness through sustainable travel, education, and food. I'm here today with Gracie Moore, the community coordinator for Refuge Coffee Co. Hello there, Gracie. Hi. So, for those of you who may not be familiar with Refuge Coffee Co., uh, Refuge is a nonprofit organization that started in Clarkson, Georgia. It's roughly 20 miles out from Atlanta and is an area filled with a diverse group of people coming from different regions, backgrounds, and the awesome thing about it is that they serve coffee with their really awesome coffee truck, um, but the even better part about it is that each cup of coffee that's served is a message of welcoming and acceptance. So Gracie, thank you again for being here with me. Yeah, of course. Um, so can you please let us know about, about your job and your position and what you do? Sure, yeah, so I'm the community coordinator for our Clarkston location. We now have two locations, which we're very excited about. We also have one in Sweet Auburn, but um, so I'm the community coordinator, which means I get to reach out to the community and work with organizations. Maybe that means helping with uh, registering to vote or a farmer's market coming to our location. I also get to plan bigger events. So we have markets where we showcase our refugee vendors and get to plan those um, for our community as well. And then I also just get to help celebrate our own team. So celebrating birthdays, making sure that people um, are getting what they need within our own organization. So I get to kind of celebrate the community and then our trainees as well, which is great. So that sounds yeah. really fun. And that's, I think that's always great when your job gets, you know, it complicates meeting new people and then also building relationships with the people you're always in contact with. Totally. I think that's the best part about any job. So I, I guess to, to start off our questions, the first one is, um, how did Refuge Coffee come about? What started everything? Yeah, so our Refuge Coffee was started, um, our founder, her name is Kitty Murray, and she is a hero and wonderful. If you're ever at Refuge, you'll probably meet her because she is our chief excitement officer is what she calls herself. Um, but she, her and her husband moved to Clarkston and they just got to know the community there, the refugee community there primarily, and realized that there was nothing like a welcoming coffee shop within the community. And so they decided if there isn't one, and if we have to drive, you know, outside the city, um, to get a good cup of coffee, then why don't we create one here that has a mission behind it where we can celebrate our neighbors and find a safe place to land and really create welcome. And so Refuge kind of came out of that idea. How can we host our city in a safe place that empowers people to be everything that they were made to be? So yeah, it's pretty awesome. That is really awesome. And um, I've been there one time a couple years ago, and I noticed the big coffee truck and coffee, everything. It was amazing. Um, yes. And I was curious, and you touched on it before, um, coffee. So why coffee specifically? That's something really Yeah. Unique. Yeah, I think coffee is like this universal language. We actually just had a mural painted this last weekend at our Clarkston location that said, we are all different, but we all drink coffee. And so in a community with, I believe there's people here from 50 different countries. There's so many cultures represented in this community, but a common ground is a cup of coffee. You can sit together and form relationships. And so Refuge has become a place that people do come and they work and they, you know, they put their headphones in and they just get stuff done. But a lot of the time, it's actually a place that people come and meet a new friend or meet someone of another culture that they never have before. And so coffee is kind of this universal language that job training felt like really powerful to um, kind of be groped around. Yeah. Yeah, I totally agree. Because I mean, coming from a Vietnamese background, we have Vietnamese coffee. Yeah, so there's so many different types of coffees out there that some people may not know about. And even like, even just going to Starbucks, people have different coffee orders too, and they try to do their own twist at home. So exactly, I, exactly. I definitely agree that coffee is like one of the universal love languages out there that if you want to meet someone, just sit down and just have a cup of coffee. So that's really totally. Cool. Yes, um, yes, we love it. So um, with the community, I know that Clarkston is a really small, tight knit community, a lot of refugees and immigrant families. So what other um, outlets have you guys done to kind of help the community outside of coffee? Yeah, so we really, our goal is to celebrate the community that's already here. And so no one that's really on our team thinks 
you know, we have this grand plan to change everything, but every one of, um, every one of our trainees is going through this incredible job training program so that whatever their dream might be after refuge, whether that's to go to college or whether that's to start their own business, they're empowered to do that. And so there've been really beautiful businesses that have come out of that, but we also host markets, like I was saying before, to help host the businesses in the community. Um, we have an iftar dinner. That's my favorite event that the entire community can come together and help celebrate um, the breaking of the fast after Ramadan, which is really beautiful. And so we try to do these events that kind of can bring anyone together. Uh, we have World Refugee Day coming up on Saturday, which we're really excited about. So we try to just celebrate different cultures and see bring out the highlights of our community um, that are already happening, but we want to be a safe space for dancing and singing and celebrating those things. And so those are kind of ways we've tried to be just a welcoming place for people to celebrate. So. And that's yeah. really awesome. I really, I really like that. <laughs> so um, with COVID going on, I know that a lot of businesses and individuals and families have been impacted. How has refuge been dealing with, with COVID nowadays? Yeah, so especially when it started, it was very interesting because a lot of our business is catering with having the trucks. Um, they would go out to movie sets and businesses and weddings. And so that was a lot of our business. And so all of that was pretty much shut down. So one way we got creative was we did some neighborhood truck visits, which are actually still happening, where you could text in and invite the truck to your neighborhood. And so people could, whether it's on your cul-de-sac or your street or your apartment complex, you could come out socially distance and still get a good cup of coffee while you're at home, which while we were all quarantined was an essential thing. Um, and another thing we've gotten creative with is in our Clarkston location, we used to not have a drive through, but we've created one. So everyone's wearing masks. You can stay in your car, safely get a cup of coffee. And so we've tried to do some little tweaks to help keep everyone caffeinated and keep business going. So it's been fun actually to see how creative we can get. <laughs> So how far does, um, do the trucks go out from the Clarkston location? Yeah, so the truck will go, it's up to 20 miles, but there's a number you can text and send in your details. And if you have um, some neighbors that you think might be interested, then that's definitely a possibility. That's all in our social media. But yeah, that's, that's a cool way to get your friends involved for sure. That is really cool. And I didn't know about that. You guys would, would leave the area. I just assumed that you would go there. That's really cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can stay in your pajamas and just walk out, get a good cup of coffee. It's great. Yeah. Easy, right? <laughs> in the morning too. <laughs> yeah. So, um, with people who aren't in Atlanta, I guess, and they can't go to Clarkston and they can't, you know, the truck can't get there. What are some ways for them to help contribute to your mission? Sure. So we are a nonprofit. And so one way is just giving simply um, on our website, there is a tab to do that. But there's also some really cool merch on there um, that you can buy t shirts, mugs, all that kind of stuff. And if nothing else, even just telling other people about this mission. Um, one of the things we love to do, we say we create welcome, but we also want to tell a more beautiful refugee story. And so we're really committed to telling really beautiful stories. So even following along in our social media, sharing those stories and uh, helping create welcome wherever you are, I think is really our goal. And I have to second that because I do follow you guys on your, on your website and your social media and the testimonials that are on there are just really heart touching. They're, it's just oh, thank you. Through. It's just something really amazing. And I recommend that anyone that has the time to take time to just go through all of that. It's really yeah, good. It's good for about. It's good for your heart. It's mm -hmm. amazing in the, in the craziness of the world. Um, hearing people's stories is beautiful. So, it's something yeah, good while everything's going on. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So I know you also touched on about, you know, you love interacting with the community, interacting with your coworkers. Um, is there anything else about it that you really enjoy that um, is a little different? Yeah, I think... Honestly, refuge in the Clarkson community really profoundly changed my husband and I's life, just seeing um, what being a really good neighbor could look like and what actual welcome can look like in your daily life. And so um, that's something I'm so passionate about, but I love that that is possible wherever we are, if we'll just take some time and pay attention to each other's stories. And so I love that that's part of my job, but I also love that wherever you are, you can hear someone's story and be transformed by it. And so, yeah, I'm really passionate about that and love getting to do it here in Clarkston, but I, that's possible anywhere. And so 
I think that's a really hopeful thing that together we are far better than we are alone. So no, yeah. I definitely agree with that. So yeah. I guess for, before we wrap everything up, what is one advice that you can give to people who are younger than me, maybe just hitting college or just getting into the workforce and even later in life that want to make a difference in their community? How can they do so? Yeah, I love that question. I would say, um, figure out what you're passionate about, but also get out of your comfort zone. I think that's how my life has been transformed is having conversations with people that maybe I thought I might sound dumb, but <laughs> um, people that don't look like me or act like me or haven't grown up like me, um, ask them to have a cup of coffee with you or get to know someone. And that seems so small, but I think then you're more aware of what is actually going on in the world. And so um, be willing to listen to other people. And I think you'll be you'll be pleasantly surprised by the difference you can make. Um, it doesn't have to be massive. It can be something little and a cup of coffee goes a long way. So. Oh, that is really true. Yeah. <laughs> so um, can you just explain one more time? I think you said the locations are in Clarkston and then the newer one is also in Atlanta. Is that right? Yeah, it's in Atlanta. So it's our sweet Auburn location. It's on mm -hmm. um, Auburn Avenue, but it's, yeah, it's in the historic part of Atlanta. And so uh, we have two locations now. They're both great. So if you can visit either of those, yeah, it's fun. Cool. And then just a personal question. I know with Clarkston, sure. there's a lot of history and meaning behind the location. With the new Atlanta location, was that something that you guys predetermined? Okay. Yeah, it was an area of town that we were really excited to be in. There's so much history there. And so we really wanted to um, bring our incredible community and creating welcome down to an area of town that's historic for a million reasons, but Martin Luther King Jr. being a major one, <laughs> his birth home is right down the street. And so we're really passionate about um, speaking about the civil rights movement that's happened there and just the history that's there. Yeah, we're, we're honored to be in that part of town. So. Well, that's really great. And I loved hearing everything that you had to say today about refuge. And I learned a lot more too. So I'm really excited yeah, to, to be able to sit down and just kind of spread the word about your mission. I think it's something really amazing and great. Thank you so much. Yeah, we love what we get to be a part of, but we appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. And then again, thank you so much for being here with, with me today and taking the time to, to just talk about your job and this amazing stuff. So again, thank you. No problem at all. Thank you so much. <laughs>